everybody. Welcome to another video tutorial from your friends at Nerds Alert. Today I wanted to take a minute and go over a piece of software that we had talked about in our Nanite installer video, and that's Glary Utilities. I wanted to go over the software and how the general average user can use it, best use it, uh, and just kind of some catches, some, some gotchas, and some uh, how-tos. First off, let's start with a description of what the, the software is. Glare Utilities is a bundled package of utilities and tools uh, that they have put together to help you to optimize, speed up, clean, clean, uh, take care of your computer and maintenance your computer overall. Now, Glare Utilities does offer a pro version as well as the free for private use version, which is the one I'm showing you here. Uh, I'm a very huge fan of the software and a proponent of purchasing it if you if you are able to do so and if you can afford it, particularly if you're going to use it for commercial use. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, the average user though would not be using it for commercial use and would use the free software. So I wanted to do just a walkthrough of how you would use the free version and show you what some of the benefits and downfalls are of it. For starters, always make sure to, to make a backup and a system restore of your computer before you ever do anything that delves into potentially into the registry or anything that deals with anything in the startup processes, temporary files, anything like that, tracks erasers. If you're going to do any anything this level of your computer, make sure that you create a system restore point. Now, Glare Utilities does have individual modules where you could do this work manually if you choose to do so. You can scan manually for the individual drives and see what you're looking for to clean up the area. You can individually do your registry cleaner, look for shortcuts that are broken or shortcuts that are no longer attached to a software. Uh, you can go into the uninstall manager to, to um, is, as a, an alternative to the Windows control panel, uh, add remove programs. You can go in and, and manually optimize. You can optimize your memory, defrag your registry. Now, bear in mind if you defrag your registry, for starters, make very sure that you create a system restore point and then realize that after it defrags, it will do a full reboot and your, your screen will likely freeze up during this process and it will look as though something has gone wrong when in reality it's just, just the, the registry defragmenting and then rebooting to get it optimized. At any rate, you can individually run a lot of these processes, and you can go and Google some of this information for yourself to see which one of these will be helpful for you in your situation. But overall, the one-click maintenance is, is a really good place to start. So if you've ran your, your favorite choice of malware scanning utility, so for example, if you've ran your, your antivirus scan across your computer, then you've ran malware bots or SpyBot or AdAware, one of those, and you've come up with, you know, some, some pain points or some malicious software to remove, or if you've just got a system that you haven't optimized in quite some time, you would click your one scan for issues, let it run through its processes, and I'm going to pause here and come back after this has completed. All right, our scan completed successfully, and as you can see, the registry cleaner found 931 problems. The shortcut fixer found four problems, which likely means that the shortcuts no longer point to a software that's there or a folder or association that is there. Startup manager found three entries that it, it perceives as a problem or potentially hazardous. Temporary files, you see that we're going to be able to recover 4.86 gigabytes of files. And spyware remover found no problems. Now, this spyware remover is not really extremely robust like your malware bots or spy bot or any of those. It's just kind of a basic, <clears throat> excuse me, it looks for basic recognized and known algorithms or known um, files, problems that it just knows is common that that would be a, a considered a spyware. So we're going to go ahead and, and let this repair the problems. And as you can see, it's just doing exactly what it says. It's deleting all of our temp files. It would be deleting, clearing your trash can, your trash recycling bin if you had any anything in it. Uh, but mostly it's just taking care of local temp files, <coughs> excuse me, uh, and uh, temporary internet files as well. So that's it. That's all there is for Glary Utilities. Thanks and have a good evening.